Hello, this is Dr. Rosina. Welcome back to our third tutorial, which will be on pie drawing. Figure one here shows our pie driving situation. Um, the pie driving situation is a dynamic process that causes vibration in the soil. The excess power pressure are generated due to the quick stress increase around the pile. So as we are driving this pile into our bed of clay, there will be a stress increase around our pile. In this example, we will focus uh, on the irreversible deformation below the pile. In order to simulate this process most, real most realistically, the behavior of the sun layer is modeled by means of a HS mo model, HS means hardening soil model, and um, its uh, meaning and benefits is explained in our introduction to practice, which you can refer back on. We means that our sun will be a hardening soil model and our clay will be a more color model. Uh, other general settings have highlighted a systematic and plain straight into bold capital um, because they are very important in the simulation. If you select them incorrectly, you tend to get incorrect results depending on the um, model symmetry. Now, the plain strain model, uh, in our first tutorial, we discussed uh, the difference between these two, stating we use a symmetry for a circular model and the uh, plain strain, we use a symmetry for for circular model and plain for square model. Now I'm going to give you more uh, detail. Um, we use plain strain means the strain can only take the x y plane. So when you use the plain strain during the simulation between plexus, it only takes into consideration the x y plane uh, during the calculation of stresses or strain. Along the along the longitudinal axis out of plane direction, the strain is assumed to be zero, which in, most, uh, which in some cases might be incorrect, where you might have some strain in the z direction. And this is when the axis symmetry model comes to play, because in this model, it takes in the x, y, z plane uh, situation. And because we have the dimension only of the depth to be 80, we are going to assume the width of the model to be 30 uh, meter. Our pile diameter is 0 0.4 meter. Table 1 shows our properties for our clay, uh, sand, and pile. Um, our clay is going to be modeled as untrained uh, behavioral input. Our untrained shear strength. If it's untrained, we don't give it the opportunity for that, but clay do have a uh, shear strength. So, on the untrained, we input our untrained shear strength and uh, other interfaces here. As you can see, we have an interface strength, which is our internal. Our internal is the soil interaction, soil structure. Behavior and we have an interface 0 0.5, so we are going to input it. Uh, and on the sun, uh, as we mentioned in the previous slide, we are using a hardening, um, hardening soil model HS, and these are the parameters. Now we are using, uh, we are going to model our pile as a non-porous um, material. This is because our pile is taken to be a made of concrete, so it's a concrete pile that we are. Uh, driving down our clay, bed of clay uh, sun layer. So uh, in plastic, you can model concrete using a non-porous um, type behavior. And the non-porous is usually in, in, is usually modeled with as a linear elastic model. And you will not need any saturated unit weight because it's irrelevant uh, using non-porous behavior. It's only the unsaturated value you need and the Young's modulus person ratio. I can leave the uh, interface to be rigid, which is the default value within plexus. So this is why we are going to use within plexus. So when you want to model any concrete structure, you use a non-porous um, non type of behavior within plexus. And this is some basic theory. Um, Theory and taxes regarding piles. Piles are generally a real 3D element, um, but um, they still need to model piles into 2D with the two dimensional. The interest in a the in, in the interest in on a global behavior structure or to obtain some preliminary, some preliminary result on the formation of structural forces within the pile. Reason why we are going to 2D, but, but realistically, piles are 3D. Elements you want to go into more details, you can't uh, do your models so on 3D. 
when modeling piles or pile hole or which could be a cup, a cup of pile not just one pile could be a cup of pile in plastics now the user will uh, have to make use of the plate so within plastics there are functions that you can use to model your piles you shall have plates elements or not to note anchor both however have their own specific possibility and limitation so this model we are using currently is we are taking the model to be a concrete pile so we are going to model it uh, using our non-porous elastic but let's say that we are not modeling a concrete pile we have maybe a different kind of pile we have steel or something so there are other ways you can um model your pile depending on the values you have now here below give you some parts so let's say we are using a plate element to the interface the benefits of using a plate element is it gives you the possibility to enter an asia stiffness if you have your asia stiffness which is calculated from calculated and uh, for your pile then you're not going to model the pile as a concrete pile then you use a plate and enter the asia stiffness for that pile the interaction with soil due to interface uh, you can also do the interaction. You can also do an interaction uh, with the soil due to interface. You can add the interface to the soil social interface, but the soil cannot flow through the to the plate. It is just continuous mesh, so the soil will not flow through the plate. You have the possibility to enter a bending stiffness. So if you have your bending stiffness, your asia stiffness, you can input it using a plate. However, with our concrete we are doing uh, for this exercise, we don't have those. We are not using them. Uh, we are only using our dry unit weight and our loss modules and voice ratio and that's it. Another method is not to node anchor as uh, mentioned and the benefit is you, have, you can enter the Asia stiffness, you cannot do any interaction, so interaction. So when you use the anchor to anchor, you can't use any interaction. This first figure here shows an example. In this example, a note to not anchor was used. And there's a little bit of green here. It doesn't really highlight very clear on the video, but this black line here is our pile and the note and this was designed using a note to not anchor. And at the end here we use plate to design the pile too. So this is an example type an example of pile. The second one here is a bit like the example you're going to do uh, is a, is a bit of an example of what we're going to model within plastics where this pile is our concrete but the yellow bit inside is a, the property of our concrete pile and the negative here is our interface same with uh, the one on um, this side where it's the concrete pile we have interfaces uh, if let's say that this concrete pile like, was our plate that we mentioned then we can say add we can add the interface around the plate but for this node to node, we cannot add any interface. Basic background on the uh, path foundation. This, was, this figure two shows an action of negative skin friction on the pile half. This shows you this our pile, the kind of forces that uh, act around the pile when you have the soil inside. Our cuticle that is a load being applied on our pile. It shows a negative and positive friction which helps to carry the load. So this positive friction here helps. Uh, the part to carry the load. Uh, some explanation here. If the end and tip section of a pile are embedded in a very firm or compact material, high end bearing can be developed with relatively little downward movement of the pile. So all this is very important that as a pile is being driven, the material, type of soil that the pile is being driven is very important and the stiffness of that soil is very important. How compact or very firm the soil is very important because that contributes to um, the end barrier on the movement of the pile. A uh, driven pile cause large soil displacement that is lean to couple develop greater unit skin friction that than piles with small volume displacement. All this depends as we trap the pile or um, cause soil displacement. Also, there's a time where when you have to drive a pile, uh, sometimes the they dig a hole and the hole is bigger than the size of the pile so all this thing into consideration so just a part bear in mind of the disturbance of the soil the dynamic effort you are, you are uh, causing to the soil which is why we are going to model with this exercise we are driving the pile into the soil so it's going to be kind of a dynamic um situation where we have a pile group as shown here in figure four 
uh, the important point is to know the, the spacing between each piles as you are um, as you are driving the bunch of the soil so it should be equal spacing so this give you figure 3 and give pile pattern for walls and the column foundation so this circle here represents each piles for different kind of scenario this for a wall uh, this for a part this is a three pile group here four pile group five are continuously uh, but to bear in mind the spacing between them now uh, with that in mind we are more than a single pile but with the this information the pile group we are going to do our model now we are by driving using a single pile but the same uh, procedure uh, of how we are going to do our design with plexus with a single pile can be applied for a group pile Thank you.